Hey guys, and welcome back to River Raven Collects. Today, it's finally happened. We are unboxing a Raven Spawn. This particular Raven Spawn was released in February 2002, making him currently 21 years old. He is part of the Alternate Reality series, Series 21, and he is in the same series as Pirate Spawn and Throne Spawn. And last time we unboxed Pirate Spawn and that figure really just blew me away. The amount of detail and care that had been put into that figure was absolutely amazing. I'll leave him up here if you haven't seen that one yet. But uh, yeah, I've got really high hopes for this figure. So without further ado, let's get him out of his box and check him out. All right guys, you got me in person again today. So straight off the bat, Obviously, he's a pretty detailed figure. I don't think he's got as much detail as Pirate Spawn, though. Love this here. That looks awesome. So, we've got this on the side, and we've actually got, like, a really nice silhouette of him here. And then we've just got, like, the alternate realities spawn. And then the back, obviously got him up here, and... <laughs> Thank goodness there's no like weapon variants or whatever. Remember that pirate spawn last time. So it looks like everything you see here you do get in the box, so that's good. We've also got different pictures. So the alien spawn is actually really different. If you remember last time with the pirate spawn, I said that we couldn't really see the figure. Here we can't really see him that well again, but I'm surprised that they did all different pictures up here, so that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we got the same down here. We got Rings of the Re Redemption spawn. I think we'll unbox him next time. So right, make sure you subscribe to see that. We got She spawn, Throne spawn. We have unboxed. I'll leave a link up above. You want to check that out. And we've also got Pirate spawn, who we unboxed last time. And then we've got that Alien spawn again. So that's really cool. Uh, pretty good. Can't wait to see what he looks like in there, so let's get him out of his box. Alright guys, so let's get Raven Spawn out of his clamshell. You know how much I hate clamshells and it's yeah, pretty much destroyed here. So let's have a look at the advertising first. So we got this lovely backdrop. I love the pink with Raven Spawn as well. It works really well. Unfortunately, you can't really see that through the packaging while he's in there. So last time I said this was the worst advertising I've seen. Obviously, you can't see the other models in the line. It's lucky we have them on the back. Here's kind of fine, and I think this is fine for the sports stuff if you're into that. Um, but th just that first set is just like terrible as you can see on the back We've got all of them and they look really nice. But anyway, let's get Raven spawn out of his box Still fighting a clamshell here, but we've got him So for a figure that doesn't have a lot of details, he's still packed with details. So he looks really cool I love the kind of bronze effect that he has on the chest there and then he's got a ton more at the feet for some reason which I don't know why he's got more down here. I haven't actually looked at this character in the comics but yeah he looks super super nice so let's get him out of his packaging. He's only got the four zip ties I think it is which is kind of a nice change from having you know several but yeah nothing too interesting about the zip ties. I am kind of worried about his weapon and from what I've seen it looks kind of flimsy. I'm hoping it's not going to break. And now having it in hand, you can kind of see that it is quite sturdy. It's super detailed which is so nice. I really love that for something that isn't really that big or anything. Like they've just packed it full of detail. Like look at the detail in there. You can see that they've done like every single line of each like rope like holding that skull in and there's no reason for them to do this detail if we ever get the new raven spawn we're gonna see a very big lack of detail in the new ones that we're getting now but you know 21 years ago they're obviously putting in a lot more so let's get raven spawn out of the box here he is and yeah he's got zip ties all over him but that's all right get that out of the way and here he is so he's also got a little bit of a rubber band around his leg I'm not sure why this is here because it's not holding in that chain 
and it unfortunately runs around the back here and you can see that it's actually taken off some of the paint there which is unfortunate but I mean at least this happened on the back and it's not around the front so you know the capes covering it up you're never gonna see it I'm probably not gonna be looking at the back of him but have a look at the detail on that cape it looks like real leather I'm very impressed by that so he's got spikes all over him they're quite sharp but I don't think they're gonna break that was something that I was also worried about with this figure but yeah just check out this detail like truly amazed by this and for such like a dark figure like he looks like he's just coming out of the shadows that's kind of the way he's designed he still looks super detailed and just so much love and care has been put into this and yeah I absolutely love it like you know my hat really goes off to McFarlane with these old figures because they are just so so nice and also the real chain it's unfortunately plastic I would love to have seen a metal chain running around his waist but anyway we'll check out the articulation and he's not got a lot so his hands do move slightly and then they've got these weird ones that aren't quite on the elbow but are on the tricep and they move very strangely so his head doesn't move either his cape kind of moves a little bit there and then we've got the torso that moves and nothing in the waist and then we've kind of got these ones on the thighs that make it twist his leg that yeah really can't do much but we've got nice ones on the knees and that's kind of it so not a really well articulated figure the feet don't move either but you know I'm I'm not one who really needs the articulation but I do understand when people want it and they don't get it so I'm just gonna slip this into his hand and as you can see he's got these massive hands massive claw fingers as well and I'm unsure about how this wants to sit in there so I've kind of just set it in like this for now but I noticed on the art he actually has it like upside down I'll put it into that position in a sec but he doesn't want to hold it properly and yeah that is a little disappointing like I'm always fearful of losing these weapons and things that my figures are holding I don't think we're gonna lose it it kind of sits perfectly there but yeah it's one of my fears but anyway I'll leave you guys with the showcase and then I'll be back with my final thoughts guys that has been our look at raven spawn let me know what you think of him down in the comments below i think this is another incredible figure by mcfarlane i'm really happy to finally have a raven spawn in my hands uh, i will say this one definitely does have a few problems unfortunately now i really like the dark tones and stuff that they've done on him but unfortunately it does cover up like most of the detail he's kind of got a bronze towards the bottom on his boots and I think that would have looked a lot better if they had kind of spread it around to maybe these like 
corner horn things on his shoulders as well as like the other spikes around him that would have been nice he's also very small um, compared to the other figures in different lines he is very small it's something that i did notice with pirate spawn as well but pirate spawn kind of doesn't stand out as much i feel like raven spawn really does stand out compared to the other ones so that's a bit unfortunate as well i would have liked to have seen him just a tad bigger or maybe with a stand or something but uh yeah the other problem is he doesn't want to hold his weapon properly i don't think he's going to drop it i don't think it's going to fall out of there but yeah he his hands just aren't made to hold it so i would have liked to have seen the weapon just being bigger or something but you know all the all the negatives aside for me this is another really really nice figure and i'm super glad to have him in my collection of course but let me know what you think of him down in the comments below uh, leave me a like and if it's your first time here please do subscribe we're going to be unboxing a lot more spawn figures we got some anime figures coming up as well so please do hit the subscribe button share this with someone and i'll see you guys on the next one